Hey, morning, APE students. Um, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do with all that OWL pellet data that we collected. Um, so if you want to open your packet to page 11, um, and it might help if you've already downloaded the spreadsheet from Canvas um, that you're going to be using. I have a sample spreadsheet of last year's data. Um, so just remember that the numbers that you're looking at are not the data that you're going to be using this year, um, but just to model the procedures that we'll be following. Um, so to begin with, um, let's talk about these values that I have entered for you. You don't have to um, go ahead and count and enter all of those. Um, so taking a look at the spreadsheet, here are the different species, um, six different possible prey species that we found. This is the average biomass um, of what each of those prey critters weighs. Um, those values were obtained from the scientific literature. Um, this column, or this row, excuse me, is read across like this. Each of this, these cells don't necessarily represent a sum. For example, this value is not a sum um, of these values in this column. It's the total number of prey per year. So. Um, in this data set, there were a total of 38 pellets that were examined. The frequency value indicates in how many different pellets that um, prey species appeared. In other words, we saw two um, meadow voles um, occur in two out of the 38 pellets. This column and I number of prey represents the total number of that prey species that was found based on this data set. So to interpret this, I found a total of 86 mice. Those 86 mice were present in um, 36 different pellets. This value then, total or N, does represent the total number of prey or critters that that owl ate. Um, so one of the calculations that you're going to perform um, is doing the proportion or figuring out um, the, at the formulas Ni divided by N. In other words, um, there were a total of two um, voles found um, divided by a total of 116 animals. So this is telling me the frequency with which that occurs. And as you look at the formula in that cell, I have D4 divided by D11. And so that's giving my proportion. Um, the average number um, per pellet, um, if I look at the formula for that, that is D4 divided by B11. So again, I'm taking the total number of each spe species of prey found divided by the total number of pellets. In other words, um, on average per one pellet, how many voles were there? On average per one pellet, how many mice were there, et cetera. Um, the biomass calculation, um, if you look at the formula for that, um, this is taking into account the total grams of biomass um, represented in a particular trophic level. Um, and you'll read about that equation as you're going through and doing all these calculations. Um, so the calculations are pretty straightforward. There's basically two different kind of values that we're looking at. We're looking at energy, which we've already talked about in class, we can represent as kilocalories. So this um, conversion factor or ratio here would allow me to say if I had X grams of mouse meat, how much energy would an owl get from that mouse meat if that mouse meat contains 5.57 kilocalories per gram, for example. Um, this is the, actually the energy content of the barn owl, that top predator. Um, we're also going to be looking at biomass values. So energy values are measured in the unit of kilocalories. Biomass, um, how much meat there is on something, um, like how much does that animal weigh dry, um, is measured in grams. Um, and in the explanation here, um, it explains how we start out determining what the biomass of the barn owl is that we'll be examining. Um, so you're going to walk, um, perform all the calculations um, in your lab notebook. Make sure and show all the work for that. Um, and because you get to use your lab notebook on an exam, and just for you to go back and make sense of all these numbers and calculations we're doing, I strongly recommend that you label each calculation.
So before I do this, I'm going to say in my lab notebook, this is number two, and I'm calculating the energy content of the barn owl. I'm going to show the conversions and express my final answer in the given unit, in this case, kilocalories. Um, another example of that would be um, down here under number 6B, I'm going to calculate the mass in grams um, of the food needed to feed um, a year's worth of barn owl prey. Um, and so I'm going to use these different conversion factors that are given in my problem. I'm going to show the different conversions for that and end up with grams per year. Um, so the final unit that you want is always given to you. Um, the spreadsheet will be submitted on Canvas, um, and your um, calculations from the lab notebook, numbers one through six here, um, are all due the day after the day-to-day -day, um, in the lab. And then this conclusion part is homework. Have a great day. See you in lab.